On this edition of The Bleeding Edge, we'll show you how to upgrade your RAM on the new redesigned Unibody MacBook Pro. After this. Welcome to The Bleeding Edge, I'm Nate True, and today we're going to upgrade the RAM on this redesigned um, Unibody MacBook Pro. So, what you need, um, you need your MacBook Pro. Now this is the 15-inch model, and the 17-inch hasn't been redesigned yet, or released. Uh, you'll need a number zero Phillips screwdriver. This one is a uh, China brand. And you will also need your upgraded RAM. Now the MacBook Pro starts with two gigabytes of RAM, and it accepts up to 4 gigabytes of RAM, which is what we have here. Now, Apple made it a lot more difficult to upgrade the RAM in this version of the MacBook Pro, um, much more difficult than last time. So, the RAM is actually under here, um, under the case, so you'll have to undo eight individual screws, which are all glued in, in order to upgrade the RAM. So, let's get started. First, press on the little lever and pull it to release the bottom panel. And if you haven't turned off your Mac, you probably should have done that before this step. Make sure the tab is up while removing your battery and set it to the side. You can leave the hard drive in there for now. So you notice on the bottom panel the basic instructions on how to upgrade the RAM. It shows that there are eight screws that you need to remove and the RAM is located right next to where the battery was. So take your number zero screwdriver and applying firm pressure and not allowing the screwdriver to slip at all, um, you want to start on the screws here, 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 and here. And these are all under the panel. So make sure your screwdriver is positioned correctly and gently unscrew each of the screws, making sure you're pushing firmly down so that your screwdriver doesn't slip against the heads. Now if you're wondering why we're being so meticulous about removing the screws, if this screwdriver head slips at all on the screw, you'll damage the screw enough that not even an Apple repair technician will be able to fix it. So make sure you do it right the first time. So moving on to the second screw. Again, applying firm pressure and not allowing the screw to slip off of the head one bit. Unscrew the rest of the screws like so. Now notice the ones along the back are a little bit longer. So this screw and the three next to it have an unthreaded portion and then have a portion that is threaded. So make sure you remember which screws go in which holes. Now this is the last screw. This will be on the upper left of the uh, bottom of the MacBook. And you want to make sure that you're pressing very hard because this one is the one that is in the hardest. But not too hard to break the Mac because that's also not good. This one is a special kind of screw, so make sure you remember where it went. So now that you've got all the screws out, just lift off the back panel. There are little clips and it should come off quite easily. So now here you see the guts of the Mac, you see the two fans, the motherboard, and the CD drive, and right here you see the RAM. Now the way these modules are configured in here is that one is on top of the other and releasing the clips should release both and allow both of them to pop up. Now remove the old modules and set them aside. You can still use these to upgrade an even older Mac. And then take the new modules out of the packaging. So make sure you align the modules so that the slot in the RAM lines up with the slot in the socket. 
put both RAM modules in where the old ones came out, and don't push them down until both of them are in. And then when they're in securely, push down on the top module, and they should both lock in. Now you want to put the back panel back on. And at this point, put the, put the battery back in and turn your Mac over. This way you can test that you've done the RAM install correctly. So as you turn on your Mac, if it makes the Mac sound, as it did, you know you've installed the RAM correctly. You can hold the Option key to display the boot menu, so you don't have to boot the Mac all the way up. This is optional, you can just shut it down again if you want. So, turn the Mac back off, and turn it back over, and put all the screws back in. Remember that the second longest screw goes in the upper left hole on the MacBook Pro. And just put in all the screws exactly where you found them. Not as difficult now to strip the screws out, so don't worry about that so much. But don't over tighten the screws either. Now, once you've broken the blue glue that's on these screws, they may be more likely to fall out, so you'll want to check them every once in a while to make sure they're not falling out of your laptop. Okay, now that all the screws are back in, you can put the back panel back on. Make sure that the bottom of the panel is aligned properly before you push it down, because these are really easy to misalign. And so this line up here should be flush, and your Mac should be nice and perfect just like you started. So, now you can boot up the Mac, and you can check to make sure that the Mac actually has as much RAM as you installed. We'll let it boot here. So to check how much RAM you have, you want to go to the Apple menu and choose about this Mac. And under memory, you see we have 4 gigabytes of 1067 megahertz DDR3 RAM, which is exactly what we installed. So that's how to upgrade your MacBook Pro's RAM. Stay tuned for more tech news through the eyes of GearLive.com.